Hi, this is Brian, and this is my second video on how to introduce your Unix system to a network. In this case, it's my Solaris 10, and I'll be introducing it to my local network. Um, in my first video, we covered how to change and set your host name. And in this video, we're going to cover two topics. Um, we're going to configure your default gateway, which is a very short topic. That's why I decided to combine it with the third topic, which is DNS configuration. So the first thing you do is log in as a super user. And I'm going to list my Etsy file. And in order to set your default gateway, you need a file called default router. You can see that file does not exist under my Etsy directory. So we're going to use the redirect, echo and redirect command to create that file. And you should know your default gateway. Uh, my default gateway on my network is 10.0.0.1. If you don't know your default gateway, I suggest you probably just stop watching this video um, because that's a pretty basic thing you should know or be able to find out. So what we're gonna do is we're going to echo the IP address of your default gateway. And then you're gonna use the redirect, the greater sign, and you're going to Etsy default router. When you do that, you will now see if I list my if I list my Etsy directory, you will see that default router was now created. And if we cat the Etsy default router, you'll see it has my default gateway in there. So that's it for configuring your default gateway. Now the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna set our DNS configuration. Now, my default DNS server is through my IP. I prefer to use, um, there are many free DNS servers you can use um, for simplicity's sake and because it works good, I'm gonna use Google. Um, you might not like Google. They track everything, but um, it works good. And, you know, I really don't care if Google wants to track me. I'm a pretty boring person. They could track me all they want. Um, so there are two files involved with your um, DNS configuration. There's your Etsy resolve.conf and your Etsy NS switch.conf. Those two files are the files we're going to need to configure properly in order for the DNS to be properly set up. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cat our Etsy dot Etsy resolve without an e.com file and you'll see that the name server is listed there's there's a dns server and a backup dns server we're going to change those to 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 respectively which are google's dns servers so very simple like we did earlier we're going to v the etsy resolve.com file and we're simply in command mode we're simply going to delete using the X key all these other numbers and hit the I and we're going to type 8.8.8.8 .8 and then hit escape scroll down to the next line go back to the 7 hit X until they're all disappeared hit the I key which will put you into insert mode space and then 8.8.4.4 and that is it. You're going to hit escape and then you're going to type colon, which will jump your cursor to the bottom of the screen. WQ exclamation point. Another way you can um, exit a file um, in this mode. 
Um, I think I screwed that up. No, it, it's still good. It's say I ended up saving it. Um, another way when you're in V, I just wanted to show you to exit and save any changes is to just hit escape, hold down the shift key and hit Z twice. Z, Z, capital Z, capital Z. That also exits V and saves any changes. Okay. So that's changed. So now the next file is the etsy.nsswitch.com file. So we are going to cat that. And there's two lines, two lines in here that you're going to be concerned with. And those lines are the hosts file and the IP nodes file. Now, those files are already what they need to be they you see that they say the files it says dns after them that is already correct it was already set up this way by default so i don't need to change anything um however if you log into your system and those two lines do not have dns or they have anything else there this is what they need to look like hosts colon files dns and IP nodes colon file DNS. Um, so I'm not going to configure those. You can use V to change them if you have to. Um, you could log in and do that, but um, I'm not going to be doing that right now. Um, the next thing we're gonna do that we need to do is the file under Etsy. I'm gonna list my Etsy again. Now, everyone should have a DHCP file. Now, mine is .e1000g0. That is the name of your interface, e1000g0. This file, there's nothing in it. You can cat it to go ahead and see. Um, this file needs to be deleted. So, simply, we're going to rm DHCP dot e1000 g0 and there we go the dash r and the full path now if i list my etsy again you'll see that dhcp is there but dhcp dot E1000G0 is gone. Um, that's it for my DNS configuration and my default gateway. The next video will be changing your IP address to a static IP address um, and we will not, you know, not be set by DHCP anymore. Thanks for watching the video. Um, come back to my third video. I hope this was helpful. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them and I'll see them. Thanks.